Magandang araw! Isa ka ba sa mga batang mahilig sa numbers? O isa ka sa mga natatakot at nahihirapang intindihin ang mga mathematical concepts? Huwag kang mag-alala! Nandito ako para tulungan ka! Ang mathematics ay gagawin nating easy, fun, and exciting with me, Teacher Joyce. Lesson 17. Performing series of operation using multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, or MDAS rule. Objectives. After going through this lesson, the students are expected to identify the correct procedure in performing series of operation, understand and explain the relationship between the four fundamental operations, and solve series of operations applying multiplication, division or addition and subtractions let's take a look on the following equation we have 10 times 5 divided by 2 plus 10 minus 3 is equal n number 2 4 plus 4 times 2 is equal to n number 3 20 divided by 5 minus 1 is equal to n and number 4 12 plus 13 minus 4 times 5 is equal to n. As you can see, each equation have a series of operation. There is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So we have a lot of operation mixed up in one equation. But how do we solve this? We can solve those equations using the MDAS rule, where M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. This means that if there is a series of operation in a problem, we will first solve for multiplication or division, before we add or subtract. Let's try to solve 10 times 5 divided by 2 plus 10 minus 3. Following the MDAS rule, rule 1, multiply or divide first in the order as they come from the left to right. We both have multiplication and division. So to know which one will you solve, check which operations comes first from the left. Since multiplication comes before division, we'll solve for 10 times 5 and the answer is 50. Then, bring down all the digits and operations that we still need to solve. Since we have division, addition, and subtraction following the MDAS rule, we need to solve first for division. So, 50 divided by 2 is 25. Then again, bring down the remaining digits and operation. So we're down to two operations, which is addition and subtraction. For rule 2, add or subtract in order as they came from left to right. Since addition comes before subtraction, we will first add 25 plus 10, which is 35. Then, Bring down the remaining digit and operation. So we have 35 minus 3 is equals to 32. Therefore, 26 divided by 13 times 10 minus 17 is equals to 32. Now, let's have another example. Let's solve 4 plus 4 times 2. Following the MDAS rule, we will first solve for multiplication and division. So we have here multiplication. So solve for 4 times 2, which is 8. Then, bring down the digit and operation we need to solve. For rule 2, we can now add or subtract. So in this equation, we have 4 plus 8 is equals to 12. Therefore, 4 plus 4 times 2 is 12. 
Now, let's solve for 20 divided by 5 minus 1. Following the MDAS rule, we need to multiply or divide first. So, we have here division. 20 divided by 5 is equals to 4. Then, bring down the remaining digit and operation. For rule 2, we have to add or subtract. So, we have here 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So, 20 divided by 5 minus 1 is 3. Let's have another one. So, we have 12 plus 13 minus 4 times 5. Following the MDAS rule, we will first solve for multiplication or division. So, we have here multiplication. So, we'll compute for 4 times 5, which is 20. Bring down the digit and operation that we need to solve. So, we have 12 plus 13 minus 20. For rule number 2, we'll now compute for addition and subtraction. Since addition comes first before subtraction, We'll now add 12 plus 13, which is 25. Then again, bring down the remaining digit and operation. So we have subtraction. 25 minus 20 is equals to 5. Therefore, 12 plus 13 minus 4 times 5 is equals to 5. MDAS doesn't necessarily say that the order of operation is always multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Take note that the multiplication and division can interchange. This means that you can divide first if division comes first from the left to the right. Also, addition and subtraction can also interchange. You can also solve for subtraction before addition if it comes first from the left to the right. Let's have an example. So we have 26 divided by 13 times 10 minus 17. For rule 1, multiply or divide first in order as they came from the left to right. So we have division and multiplication. Since division is in the left, so we'll first solve for 26 divided by 13. We have 2. Bring down all the remaining digits and operations. So we'll now have 2 times 10 minus 17. So we have here multiplication. So we'll solve for 2 times 10 is 20. Then again, then bring down for the remaining digit. So for rule number 2, we'll now solve for addition or subtraction. So we have 20 minus 17 is equals to 3. Therefore, 26 divided by 13 times 10 minus 17 is equals to 3. Next, let's try to answer 12 divided by 6 minus 2 plus 3. So for rule number 1, we need to multiply or divide. So we have here division. So we'll first compute for 12 divided by 6 is 2. Then bring down the remaining operations and digit. So we have 2 minus 2 plus 3. For rule 2, add or subtract in order as they came from the left to the right. As you can see, subtraction comes first before addition. So we'll first compute for subtraction. 2 minus 2 is 0. Then bring down the remaining digit and operation. 0 plus 3 is equals to 3. Therefore, 12 divided by 6 minus 2 plus 3 is equals to 3. Alright, for our generalization, how do we solve series of operations? To solve series of operations, we will use the MDAS rule. Remember that MDAS stands for the four basic operations, which is multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. The rule says that Multiply or divide first in the order as they came from left to right, then add or subtract in the order as they also came from left 
to write. Remember that you need to do multiplication and division first before you do addition and subtraction. It's your time to solve. To check your mastery in 5 minutes, solve the following equation. Your timer starts now.
Time's up! Let's check your work. Solve the following equation. Number 1. 4 plus 8 divided by 2 minus 7 is equal to 1. Number 2. 12 times 3 minus 4 plus 0 is equal to 32. Number 3. 12 plus 15 minus 4 times 5 is equal to 7. Number 4. 15 minus 10 times 2 plus 17 is equal to 22. And the last one is 20 plus 5 times 4 divided by 2 is equal to 30. Did you get the perfect score? Excellent! That's all for today. If you learned from this video, don't forget to like, share, and enroll to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Once again, this is your teacher Joy saying, Ang mahirap ng math problems ay kaya nating padaliin. Bye-bye and have a great day!